Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Okay, on a, a few videos back, I did a, uh, a spot where I did some pickled corn, and it's fermented corn, and I got a lot of comments on that, saying they were interested in it, and wanted to know more about it, so uh, I figured I would do the uh, follow-up on it. It's been 21 days. The 21 days are up. I think they were up yesterday. But I got in there and I did a, I did one jar of them up on video so so everybody could see what was going on and how do you do it and everything. But anyway, uh, this this recipe here I know has been done by five five generations of my family my great great grandparents done it my grandparents done it my mother and father did it i do it and i found out not long ago my nephew does it so that's five generations and so it's it's just it's an odd odd taste and you just can't keep from going back for more i've got a jar sitting here with me but i want you to see the clip here and then i'll come back all right Hey everybody, I figured I'd show you, uh, 21 days are up on this corn, and I figured I would show you what it looks like after 21 days, and show you what you got to do to it, to make it to, to where you can eat it, you know, without it being too bad, so we're going to get started on here, so you can see it's real cloudy, and it's pretty nasty looking, up in the top part of the jars there. Okay. Let me get up here. Okay, we're gonna open this thing up. I can do this one-handed. See down in here, it's pretty moldy, nasty looking. Doesn't look very good at all. So what we got to do now is we got to take and dip all that stuff off of there. Get all of it off we can get off. Then we're going to take it over here. I've got a bowl here with just a, you can use cheesecloth. I use uh, just a t shirt, good clean t shirt. They work just fine. We're going to pour this right in there. All this here, Brian. And that leaves me with the corn. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to rinse it off. So I'll stop the video until I get over and get this rinsed out. I'm going to rinse the jar and rinse the corn real good. And you got to make sure you rinse it really good. And I'll be right back. Okay, got that done. Okay, what I've done now was the uh, the brine that was in the in the jar. I poured in that bowl that, through that T-shirt, and I drained. So I strained all that bad stuff out of the brine, and I took the corn and rinsed the corn, washed the jar. And I put the uh, corn back in the jar after it was rinsed really well. And the strained brine, pour the brine right back in the jar on top of the corn. And 
you can put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator and it's good to eat for a long time. So, uh, if it doesn't come all the way over the corn, you can add just a touch of water to it just to bring it up there. Yeah, that's some good stuff. I'm going to show it to you here in just a second. Well, how was that? I don't know if y'all seen it or not, but that, uh, <laughs> right after I opened that jar, a little fruit net flew in there. But that perfectly all right. But you do not want that uh, while it's while it's fermenting for that 21 days. You want to keep it closed up, but you want it to be able to breathe. You can tie a cloth over top of it, or you can just put the lid on there, you know, and leave it loose. You just want to make sure nothing gets in there, and you want to keep the corn covered all the way to the top. And it pretty much has got a nasty look. When, it, when it's done working off. But once it's all cleaned up and everything and rinsed off and good, it, it's it's pretty good. It's odd, but it's good. And uh, now one thing I keep forgetting to mention, this is raw corn straight out of the field. It's not, not cooked or nothing. And it just, once you, once you taste it, once you try it, I mean, you'll, you'll just keep going back for more because you just, you wonder what, well, what is that? You know. So here we go. It's got a, it's got a weird smell. You can tell that it's corn, but you can also tell that it's fermented. Mm, brings back memories. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Mm. Wow. Mm. A little bit hard for me to eat because I don't have no upper front teeth. That is good. Mmm. Sour, salty. You can tell the corn taste is there. Mmm. I grew up with this stuff. It's good. Mmm. Stop eating it. What do you think? Man, man, what was it? Go back for some more. Mmm. Good. If you like fermented food, you'll like that. It's done about the same as sauerkraut. Sauerkraut's done with salt. It's just salted down is all it is. But it's corn instead of cabbage. We grew up with this in the house. They would be like two 20-gallon stone jars back in the kitchen. And one would be full of corn. One would be full of cucumbers. It would be pickled corn and salt brine pickles. I eat a lot of that stuff. But anyway, if you like fermented food, you gotta try it. Alright, we'll see you next time. God bless.